when will we have a quantum computer? It's one of the most common questions I get asked, and my answer is honestly, I don't actually know, but you might want to ask an experimentalist. I think that's actually a really fascinating example of just how fast our technology is moving. You see, I work in a field called quantum cryptography. That's the study of information security for our future quantum computers. Now, when I say information security, I talk mostly about message authentication. That's the idea that we can verify that a message hasn't been changed between being sent and being received. We're authenticating the fact that this was the original message that was intended. What we're saying is that there wasn't an attack in between, or if there was, it wasn't successful. Now, of course, this isn't the only thing you might want to be able to do. You may want to add additional layers of security or compute on the data after you've authenticated it. For this reason, we like to consider security protocols like building blocks. We want to have a large collection of blocks and be able to choose as many of them as we want and put them in any order we want. And we want that if the blocks are secure, the resulting structure is secure as well. We call this composable security. Now, one of the key requirements for composable security is that we have what we call efficient circuits. Efficient circuits are circuits that can be actually physically implemented. Now, this seems obvious. For in a real protocol, you should be able to actually make it. What's not quite so obvious is that this is required for the ideal circuits as well. Now, when we describe a, when we describe a security protocol, we describe it as a comparison between the real circuit, which actually implements the protocol we want, and the ideal circuit, which models perfect functionality. The key here is that the ideal circuit doesn't actually touch our message input at all. The message just goes straight through the protocol. All of the work happens in the simulator at the bottom. Now, the simulator takes the attack and uses its own system, which we call the reference system, to analyze the attack. And essentially, it looks at it and says, based on the attack, will the message have been altered? If it is, it'll reject the protocol, and if not, it'll accept. The complication arises when we mathematically describe these simulators. Typically, when we describe them, we then use a variety of mathematical techniques and tricks to simplify our expressions. This is really helpful when it comes to actually describing our equations, but it typically leads to simulators that can't actually be physically implemented. This is the problem that my work looks to solve. For two specific message authentication schemes, I have defined simulators that can actually be constructed, but that also follow through for security proof to show composable security. What I do is I add more blocks to our collection so we can continue to build larger programs on quantum computers. So while I can't tell you when we'll have a quantum computer, I can tell you that when we do, it'll be secure. Thank you.